Let's turn to the Commonwealth Games now, being held in the English city of Birmingham. And day nine saw medals handed out on the track, on the field, in the pool and on the bowling green. There was glory for, among others, Jamaica, Trinidad and Tobago, Kenya and Guernsey. Tim Orman has a roundup of the action. If anyone can make winning gold seem almost routine, it's Jamaica's Elaine thompson Hera. The five-time Olympic champion picked up her second Commonwealth gold, adding the 200 metres to the 100 metres title she won on Wednesday. Trinidad and Tobago's Jareem Richards took the men's 200 metres, beating Frankie Frederick's games record, which had stood since 1994. In the women's 800 metres, Kenya's Mary Mora broke local hearts, outpacing England's Keely Hodgkinson on the home straight to take gold. A happier moment for the home crowd when Nick Miller successfully defended his men's hammer title. A throw of 76 metres, 43 centimetres was enough to see off Canada's Ethan Katzberg. There was a clean sweep for England in the men's three-metre springboard diving final, Dan Goodfellow taking the top spot on the podium. But the hosts will not defend their title in the women's netball, England losing to Australia in the semi-finals. It was a similar story in the cricket, this time India's women coming out on top. Yeah, I'm just gutted really. Um, gutted that I couldn't get my team over the line. Um, so, yeah, that's, that's what I'm feeling right now. <laughs> there was a moment to savour for Wales, Gemma Frizzell winning the rhythmic gymnastics hoop final and the Principality's first ever gold. Let's take a look at the top of the medal table. Australia lead the way with 58 golds and 154 medals overall. England are second on 146 medals and Canada a third. And one other historic moment to take note of. Alistair Chalmers taking bronze in the 400 metre hurdles. The first athletics medal Guernsey has ever won at a Commonwealth Games. Tim Ullman, BBC News.